this will work. Hopefully. It should be turned off. Let me check to make sure all of the devices that I don't need are turned off. Excuse me. And I am back. Yay, welcome back. Every swap make you take a break knows the perfect time to get up and move around or walk. You gotta keep that blood flowing. <laughs> and my I break master works. Alright. Yeah, I copied all the command ones or the commands over, so they're all pretty much the same. All right. All right, so jetpack. What's next? This way. All right. Going. You're going. Why are you making me go first? This makes me nervous. <laughs> You're just fine. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's. That is beautiful. Well, I don't know about beautiful, but... It's nice and organized. A couple hours worth of work. Jeez, you've been busy. Okay, so... So, the plastic comes in on the top rail, goes through that splitter, goes down through the storage, goes out of the storage, and then down over here. And here there was a copper node, so I'm mining the copper, making it into ingots, and then turning the ingots into wire here, and then making these into circuit boards, and then the circuit boards feed into here, fill this up, and then go back up the line. So That's right now, amazing! We're just, about full. Yeah, we're just about full here, another 31 in here, and then fill the belt up, and this will shut off. And then the plastic will shut off, but I need to put another refiner down on the other end to keep up with the plastic because we are not And then, the And then you have the computers plastic. being made, right? Or I did you make... circuit boards being made. Yeah, but not computers? Not computers yet, because circuit boards only run to the end where the others do. I didn't know where we wanted to do computers at because of the parts and the way that they're all spread out. Yeah, that's why I was thinking we should make them up on the platform that we were working on last time. Okay, so we can do that. Because that sounds like a good idea. Because that's why I built it. Or what, yeah. started building so it. We can, make we can make computers up there and... Well, because I was thinking we... like part of it could be for storage so we could have everything being stored there. So we would have run conveyor belts or something and um make them all go there after we get the higher tier um sorter or um, splitter or whatever that is a smart one that can that's a smart splitter um can separate them all into like the right thing so basically we can bind them all onto one thing and then it would sort them through yeah winnie and no not an annoying uh, not Commodore computers, no. <laughs> They're just generic computer. They're really, they don't really have a name. Hey, Unknowing. Hey, Unknowing. Uh, popped yeah, over. And, uh, I popped over. Eventually, we're going to have to start making supercomputers, which takes two computers. 
Oh, I what? still sound pretty far away, unknowing. Why is that? Well, you might through my stream because I don't know why it is, but it always sounds a little bit far away. Weird. Because when I listen back on mine, I sound extremely loud. Yep. Like extra but loud. Then I sound quiet on yours. And in your videos, I sound quiet. Yeah. yeah same thing. Here. Winnie! No! Okay. So the next thing is the iron production down there. Oh, yeah. What about it? Uh, it is. Well, it's all backed up with the iron plates, but we have so many iron plates, it's not even funny right now. Well, because didn't we want to make a whole line, bunch of refined, like, refined iron plates, and that was why we were doing that? Besides the fact that we ran out of normal plates? Yep, but we also kind of forgot that we have another production line over by the stator line that was making iron plates too. It's got a full bin sitting over there as well. And then there's another bin of them here. I well, have paid for a while, and most all of the machines have shut backed down because up. they're all backed up all the way. Well, my question is then, like, do we want to extend the plat, keep moving the platform out, and make uh, like a separate little platform for all the storage? And then uh, somehow manage to make them all kind of go. Okay, let me let me show you what I mean. My dog is being annoying. No, Winnie. Oh, here I go off the thing because the dog. I'm okay, but Winnie, you need to you not. You don't have your jetpack on, do you? No. You don't have your jetpack on. No, I don't, because you didn't show me where it was. It's in the storage bin, right? Where I told you where it was. Yeah, yeah, and I couldn't hear you when you told me. Winnie. I made a jetpack for you, and uh, there's another, like, two sets of legs to me. Oh, okay, hold on. <coughs> no! What do you need? Yeah, there's two sets of legs and a jetpack and a chainsaw in there. Okay, I think I'm going to need to take my dog out real quick, you guys. And then I'll get right. back to, we'll get back to streaming. So give me a minute. All right. And then knowing says it's better now. Good thing she doesn't get mad at me for all these changes I make. I haven't made the color gun yet. What are you, wire? I'm going to make one. Just for the heck of it. I'd make one for her as well. You know how that goes. Okay, and a color gun up there for her. Okay, and our next research thing is two six, and we need fifty computers, fifty motors, and fifty uh, heavy modular frames. And there's the modular frames. I don't think we have any heavy modular frames here. We do, it's very few. Nope, my dealer frames. Okay, so that randomly popped. Well, that's a good thing. My pepper channel. And yes, I'll start making videos on the Pepper Channel 
coming up pretty quick here. I haven't made any in a while. Are those regular? Those are regular iron plates. So I'm going to need a whole ton of reinforced. Yep, I love the jetpack. Okay, so what are these? These are iron plates. They're going in, coming up and through. And they go down into here. And then these two feed into each other. I think that's what I need. Yeah, because those are uh, steel ingots or steel, yeah, steel beams for MK3s. MK4s need, yeah. All right, we're gonna do, I think I hit that, right? Oh, okay. I have another set of the belts to upgrade to the Mark IIs. But we're not using rubber a whole lot yet, so I didn't upgrade those ones. Poison! Don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. I know I've been waiting on a pepper update for a while. Oh, I'm sorry. We're having such an issue with the aphids. We think we get rid of them. And like three, four days later, they're back in full force again. And I don't know if you know anything about aphids, but they'll go to the base of a leaf, dig in, and they suck out all the juices, their nutrients. And it kills the leaf off. Then they'll go back under the leaf, lay eggs, and it only takes a few days for the eggs to hatch. And then those babies go and run and find another leaf and they destroy it and... Yeah, from being hatched to being adult is less than a week, I think, to where they can take them fly off. So we think we get them, and then they're, they're back. But they'll be going outside pretty soon, so let the wasps uh, eat them. I worked in a tomato greenhouse. Aphids were literally killer. Yes. How did you guys get rid of aphids? I know that's kind of a tricky question because you don't really get rid of aphids. You kind of keep them under control. I've even, even been tempted to get a load of ladybugs and let them go in the shop, but... I don't know if that would freak people out or not. Praise, yep. Yeah, because yeah, we tried the organic stuff like neem oil and other different remedies. And neem oil didn't really... It kept them at bay for a while, but didn't really stop them, stop them. Okay, let's see here. I actually think I have, I might have another hard drive floating around here too. No, it doesn't look like I do. Okay. We made up all of these color cartridges. Is that one? No, that isn't. So now, we can take this guy, put it in there. And I don't remember how to configure it. Let me see. Nope. Uh, right click. There it is. Right click. 
we can take and change the color to these of just about any color we can think of. So if I put it there, we could turn everything purple, turn everything white. I wonder if there's a black. Make them all yellow, turn them all red. I don't want to do pink. Oh, uh, no dark blue. What color is that one? Oh, that might work all right. But then you walk up to something and go and change the color of it. <laughs> now I wonder if she'll notice that the colors are different. color code um, each different thing that's being done. All right, time to put that away. Just something fun to try, you know? can't resist the temptation. Oh, it doesn't change the color of the tractor. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, and I see I missed all those, but that's all right. So annoying. How was the weather in your area today? All right, I'm back. I'm back. back. I probably have, will have a dog still bark every once in a while, so. That's life. Yep. Um. Okay, so let me go get my jet pack real quick. It's down here in the hub. Where is it? I'm looking at the box. Okay. Yay, jetpack. Ooh, chainsaw. What's now, this? Now you need some fuel for it. Uh. And where did I put fuel? Um. I can't have both the legs and the jetpack. Can right. I? Okay. Okay, I don't think I have any fuel here, so why don't you grab a <clears> hundred <throat> things of oil out of here? How do I use the jetpack? Huh? Hmm. How you does the jetpack? You need fuel for it. Well, it says I have fuel. What kind of fuel do you have on you? Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's biofuel. Oh. Yeah, I'll make 60 for you here. All right. All right, so we were working on making the this. Um, oh, I saw an interesting post on the subreddit for, the, for this game. Someone made micro, micro factories, and they're really cute. Thank you. Yeah, it's not 60 like I said, but... No, no, that's fine. And now you just hit your space bar like you're going to jump, but hold it down and the jetpack will take off. Oh, we can Whee! actually see the jetpack on you. Now, be careful how far you go because it's limited. I know. Okay. No, I'm going to try to fly to our platform. Won't work. <laughs> I know. Anyways, so what I was thinking is, you know where we have the walkway 
on the other side of this walkway, we put another platform and that would be storage. <laughs> okay, but how are we going to get everything up there? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we could do those towers people do. Where they kind of okay. spy them up. Well, if you're open to another idea, we could put another platform down underneath this one. We wouldn't have to go as high, line up storage units all the way down it, and bring conveyors up and fill the storage units. Um. And then make the other level, but. Okay, but where are we going to um, place this said level? I know it's not going to be. No... So, like, are we going to place it, like. Like, here? Well, don't, yeah, don't put there, though, because look at the angle that it's at. Well, no, I know, but I'm do just... Like, do this. Yeah, but I was just... I was just saying, like, right in this general area, like, height-wise. What do you think? Okay. Uh, I am messing up big time. You need to go down one more. Yep. There we go. You're right about like that. Right here. Yeah. There. This level right here. Okay, but now let's get rid of the upper ones. Alright, yeah, that's the level I want it to be on. What do you think? Well, we need to get up there and find out how much room it is. Alright, now we can jump off the side and find out how tall it is. I can make it! Hee <laughs> hee! I mean... You able to fly that high? Yeah! I flew up okay. here. You just have to be careful because you do almost run out. Bay, holy. Sorry. I was reading what Mr. Garden was saying. Uh, okay. How many storage units can you get in there? One. Okay, then it's got to go lower. Whoa! Oh god. Oh no. Ah. You shouldn't ever have to fall off anything again. I almost did. <laughs> so one lower? Okay. Oh, you made me. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, I tell ya. I'm trying to be helpful, which involves me accidentally making you delete things. My bad. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Some people's kids. Who are you calling a kid? You. I'm not a kid. I mean, you still I. Have a mama. So everyone has a mom. You have a mom. Well. Depends on how you look at it. Well, are you saying it's because I okay. live with my mom, I'm still a kid? Because that's not a fair... No, I'm, I'm saying because your mother is still alive that you're a kid. True. But what about the kids who are... Who never had... Like, their mom died when they were born. But they're like... Yeah, but they're still kids. Hmm... <laughs> I'm doing the double standard thing. Stop doing double standards, dude. They're not cool. 
Just pointing that out. Double standards are not cool, man. Not cool at all. Alright, can we get a double... Well, I don't have it, but okay. Uh, storage. Is it just... I don't have... I guess I don't have enough. Oh, I must enough have what? run out of stuff to make... I heard you out of clearance. Yeah, but I don't Not have enough, enough uh, something. Uh, I'm missing... Oh. I know what I'm missing. What's right. the one thing that we made a whole bunch of? Uh, screws and iron plates. I, I ran iron out of plates. iron plates. <laughs> All right. Well, there just happens to be a whole mess of them right here. If I can find them. There we go. Found them. Okay. So. Can you say you can fly up there, huh? Yeah. Can't you? I haven't tried yet. You're going. No. Nope. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, I ran into the whatchamacallit. Woo! No, I still can't. You're doing it from the wrong side. You're too low on that side. Let's do it. We can actually put four storage. I think four. No, just, no, three. You can put three. You had to do it from. There you go. But look. Here. What? Anyways, so we can do three, and I think last time we could have done two. Thank you. Now I can't fit any more in. Uh. Oh well. I'll, we'll just leave them there so we can pick them up when I need them. Okay, so how many, because what I want to do is clean up how many storage units, storage things we have down there. Put them all up here. Okay. So we might have to have like nine for each thing. Does that make sense? So then uh, everything will go up here and not like there won't be any storage stuff down there at all. Does that make sense? Okay. I, I'm just yeah. thinking that let's try to, uh, what's it called? Oh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's like, like where you put everything in one place. Um, there's a word, but I don't remember word. Do you want some concrete? Some people call it a library, some people call it other things. Well, I was yeah, kind of more. Call it, going to be calling it, like, here. Um, there's you. some more. Is that enough? Is that enough? Here's another hundred. That should be enough for a while. Yeah. Um, Thank you. We could call it a library, I guess, but I was thinking, like, like... L like li uh, liquidating that's not the word but basically putting all of our th all of our resources in one place instead of it being spread out all over the place like it is right now yeah but then that raises the question of we take and put everything up here what are we gonna <clears throat> do for machines then we'll move the machines up there on top and then we'll run everything okay. up there. And it will all become one big factory. Or we could try to do a micro factory. I haven't really looked into the whole micro factory idea, but I, I like the idea of it. Yeah, because if you look at the way that the oil is set up right now, that's a self-contained micro type factory down there. 
Well, we could do something like that, but just, I don't know. Diggy Rock is in house. Hey, Diggy Rock. Actually, if you think about it, we already are doing micro factories. Yep. But maybe what we need to do then is have the rest of the stuff from the micro factories be put up here. Like, the finished products. Okay, well... <laughs> I don't know. We really kind of, we could, this is extreme idea. We could literally just reorganize everything and just take everything down and rebuild it. That yeah, would be extreme, but the butt. yeah. Uh, Did we change the color of our hub? To answer that question literally, no, we did not. Oh, did. you did. Diggy Rock is getting is getting ready for space travel. Howdy, hey, Yankee Fifty. Howdy, Diggy Rock. Please donate. Okay, did you paint? Were you having too much fun with the painting gun again? Uh, can't say again because it's the first time I've done it. Well, no, but I'm just saying, you know, we could color code everything, right? Uh huh. I just painted these with blue. You just painted everything, like everything you painted blue. Okay, that works, I guess. No, just these ones. I. Okay, but we gotta think about what we're gonna do here. Because if we leave the factories down there the way that they are, we could straighten some of them out. But the logistics of trying to move all of those full containers is going to be a royal pain in the backside. Well, because, well, we, we can... can... Go ahead, We can sorry. take and run conveyors from the storage containers down there and run them up here temporarily and then take the storage containers down, down there and then from the plants bring them up here and then run all that storage in straight lines just like you have it here. Have yeah. Everything piped in on this side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then leave the factories down there where they are. And then just have it pump up to here. And then later on, we can have like, cause you're, there's gonna be more things we're gonna have to make that we can yep. put up there. And have the stuff that needs to be pumped to there go up from yep. our library. Yep. Or it could just so be storage. Leave the factories, storage. Down, leave the factories <laughs> down there. Yeah. Like they are. And like the screw lines, we can take and cut off of those. And we can line up for throwing screws up here because just the computers i think the computers need like 45 or 60 screws each oh yeah hmm i almost have my suit ready uh okay i don't know about the suit what suit is that d but if you want to uh take and do all of this I need to increase the plastic production. I need to go run down there and okay. set up another refiner. All right. So if you want to get at least the storage units and that kind of stuff set up here, yeah. let me go run and do that real quick. Okay, I wish we had a labeling system so that I could what? like, like I can line up the li things and like label them uh, screws, rods, you know, I mean, yep. I guess color coding would work, but yep, I, I don't. Another idea. We would have to decide which thing meant which thing. I have another idea. Hmm. What? See what I'm standing next to right here? This thing of iron plates. Yeah. You can put one of those down by the front right corner. 
of each item that is in this in this unit. Okay. So this would be like iron plates, put an iron plate down. This would be screws, so put a box of screws down. This would be reinforced plates, so we put a box of those down. That way we just have to run across the front of them, see what's in it, and say, oh, this is such and such, and then grab it. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get it to split. I have too many plates. <laughs> there. So do you want this to be pla iron plates then? It doesn't have to be. I'm just using that as an example because I threw the stack down here. Yeah, I know, but I'm just trying to f figure out how you want this to go in order. They're like, do we want it to be like how we actually started the game where we had to make iron plates, then rods, then... And are we going to that store was... ingots up here? No, ingots should stay down below okay. because... We're still going to leave the factories down there, so we need to all leave right. ingots go to their individual factories. All right, all right. So basically, we'll, we'll cut into the lines and move everything up here. Then we'll reconnect the lines so that they still go to the factories. The factories can stay where they are. Um, some Something... I can't put it down here. Oh, okay. It can't go over the yeah, hub. It's approaching something. It, the hub. We oh, can't put yeah, it over it the hub. Over the rock. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. That makes perfect sense. Okay, let me make sure I got enough to make that refinery. Actually, I need two of them. So I got enough of there, 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 and there. Okay. So I got enough to make the refineries. And then the belts I need iron or reinforced iron plates. Um, we're gonna have to br take uh, redo our whole um, quick. Oh, I ran out. We're gonna have to um, do a whole bunch for our qu quick, quick uh, gold, uh, quick wire. We're gonna have to reroute that into here. You know that, right? Which should be just fine. Yeah, so I would take and cut the line, put the storage units up for it, and run the an output line from there down to the storage units, and then connect the feed line there into that. At least that'll be an easy one. Run them <laughs> I can't wait until we can have the running legs and the jetpack. Because you know they're going to probably do that in the future. I would hope so. Because it makes sense. Because if one's supposed to help with land, like, like you landing... Okay. Yeah. And the other one is makes you fly. It would make sense because it would help with uh, the impact when you land with your jetpack. Somewhat. I think I shut this plant off. Is it too close to something? No. Oh, okay. Why did this one stop? Why are there reinforced iron plates on this belt? I don't know. Did we accidentally have an accident again, where we ac someone accidentally placed something into the storage bin? It's kind of looking like it. Um, okay, okay. so... Three. For some reason, I can't place something. That's weird. Okay. So we have a hole in the foundation down here. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know why it won't let me place the foundation where it, where it is, so we'll have to figure that out. It's not because it's near the hub or anything, so I don't know. Is it just too close to one of the miners? Is that the issue? Because I've put it over the other ones and it's just gone fine, so... And it doesn't look know. like it's over it. But it won't let me put... Okay thing down so there's a hole 
Alright, where did that come from? Oh, it came from right there. I think I'm gonna have okay. quick the quick wire um, uh, uh, storage be at the end over over close to where it comes in. That's perfectly fine. Um, but we'll have to reroute it a little bit for sure. Oh, Do I missed up. Okay. Do I need to put walls? Oh, that's my own message. Like walls with the little things that the um, conveyor belts come in on. If you want to put one up, go for it. Um, okay. I just want to know if we want to make it look nice and have walls or no. I will leave that entirely up to you. All right. We'll see what we, what I think. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna upgrade this line for the rubber all the way back. The fuel or the oil and the plastics lines are already at MK2s. But should we? Did we ever get the steel? The steel, um, uh, the steel, um, beams started. I thought we yes, did, but there's a, yes, there's a whole line that makes nothing but uh, steel beams. Okay, I was just trying to make sure cause it's like because the next tier needs steel steel beams to make it. Yep. Uh, of conveyor belts. If you go back by where the steel is being made, when you're running back there, the furthest uh, factory or the furthest machine bag is making steel beams. Okay. Well, the, f the funny thing is, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do like how we, like how you started out making stuff. So there's going to be the steel plates, then it's going to be the steel rods, or not steel rods, uh, iron rods, st steel plates, steel uh, iron, uh, and then like um, reinforced, reinforced plates then copper wire um cop and then cord or and then like blah 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 like how we basically start how we basically start the game like each thing that we mm -hmm. start learning how to make i'm going to just make <laughs> the um Um, make our I storage unit what you're saying. like that. Just because no. I think that would make it really simple. Yep. And like anybody w could understand it who's started to play the game. We're gonna have to probably put in a walkway down to uh, the ground so we don't have to use our jet pack, jet pack every time. But yeah, either that or jump pads and jump things. That would be fun, but dangerous yep. for sure. Well, from what I've been seeing, the gel packs are pretty easy. You can change your path of flight in or path while you're falling. You can fall right in it, and even if you had just the edge of it, it's fine. Okay, I'm extending this platform, the lower platform, a little bit out than the upper one. So it's going to be one plat, one whole foundation uh, longer than, than the one above it, mm -hmm. and it's going to have walls. <laughs> that makes any sense. That's perfectly fine. Oh, and I, the truck that's running the stators, I paused it because 
the uh, motors are backed up, so we have so many motors, it's not even funny. <laughs> and I, the machine shut down, so it was filling up the truck station. Yeah, but what do we need motors for again? I forgot. Motors. The uh, rotors and the stator go into the motors. Okay. And then the motors go to... Multiple different things. Like this refinery that I'm going to set up takes two or five or something like that. Okay. So there's just another part of infection. So how close do we want... Are we going to have enough space to have all of the stuff? Oh Not boy. Because we might have to... Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm picturing... I'm picturing it in my head. But it's like, we don't have one of the things that I'm, like, wanting to be in like, set up for this, so that's not going to work for now. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking, have all the things kind of go onto one conveyor belt and then split off into a whole bunch of ones up on top, but we don't have a smart sorter thing yet, or a splitter thing yet. No, we don't so. have the smart splitters yet. So, we, my dream, my beautiful dream can't happen yet. Yet. Well, if you do the research in the hub, you'll get them. Ooh, okay. Let me see what we need to do for that. Let me finish making the lovely platform, and then I'll go do that, and then I'll go back, then I'll come back to do um, the uh, storage part of the hut thing. Yeah, in all honesty, most of them are made already. Most of the pieces are made in those chests. Okay. It's just the next research needs like heavy modular frames. And we haven't set that up yet, have we? No. Darn. Okay, so. That's, we have the seal being made across the way. And we need to run belts over to. We, we need to just get all the storage figured out first, then figure out right. how to make it. Right? I agree. Alright, so let's do one step at a time instead of trying to jump three steps ahead. Because that's what I, I'm That'd always doing. I'm always doing that, where I'm like, oh, let's do this and this and this and this. And I'm like, wait. Slow down. We need to do this first. Uh-huh. I get carried away. Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. Why? Because <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong. No, but I get carried away. <laughs> so? Uh, I get too into it. Okay, gas masks. No, we don't want that one. We want the other okay, one. Okay, so program splitters. G yep. geo geo Geothermic. Geothermal, power. yep. And the yep. level three uh, power poles. And then there's yep, the something power else. Poles that'll hold eight wires. Oh, okay. So we have the okay. module frames for that. Uh, okay. And then we need, what's this? Supercomputers. Do we have supercomputers? How many does it want? 20. We do not have 20 supercomputers. How do you make supercomputers? Uh, the storage units, the new ones that I put up, walk straight out, right hand side, back right, is where I put the computers. Okay, so what is an AI uh, lim limiter? The artificial intelligence limiter is another circuit board that needs to be put in to keep the. Um, uh. Whatchamacallit's from taking over. 
Uh, the AI, the AI from taking over. Yeah, the artificial intelligence of the units from taking over. <laughs> I find that funny.